Today, we're talking about private flood insurance now being accepted on all loan types. This is great news, but there's three things you wanna know about private flood insurance before diving into that pool. And today, we're gonna to talk about those three things, help you understand those three things, so that when you make that decision between private flood insurance and the National Flood Insurance Program, you feel confident with your decision. So stay tuned. Today we're discussing three things you need to know about FHA now accepting private flood insurance. And what we're talking about here are pricing. You know, people just assume that private flood insurance is gonna be cheaper. And in many situations, that may not necessarily be the case. Each property is looked at differently because the risk is differently. So don't just assume that all the private flood insurance options are gonna save you all this money. Just yesterday, we actually saw a commercial policy with the National Flood Insurance Program that had a better rating model and a better premium than any of the private companies. We see it every day. Number two is payment grace periods. People assume that all private companies have that 27, that 29 day wait period on renewals. And that if they're closing on a loan, they may have up to 30 days if a mortgage company is paying or up to 10 days if the customer's paying. And in many situations, it's not, it's not necessarily the case. Each private company actually sets their own grace periods on payments and when payments need to be in. The third thing is claims. Is the claim process with private flood insurance gonna be better? Hopefully. You know, in many situations, we do see private flood insurance claims pay out quicker and more accurate than with the National Flood Insurance Program. But remember, a lot of private flood insurance claims are through what's called non-admitted companies. It means they follow different guidelines than an admitted company in a state. This means you may not have the opportunity to appeal a claim like you do with the National Flood Insurance Program. So these are some things you wanna be cautious about. So if you're ready to take the next steps to determine, hey, is the National Flood Insurance Program better for you or private flood insurance? What are my private flood insurance options? Click below to visit our website, floodinsuranceguru.com. Three simple steps. Step one, fill out the form. Step two, receive flood insurance proposals from us. And step three, pick the plan that's best for you. My name is Chris Green, founder of the Flood Insurance Guru. And I want to say thank you for tuning in today about three things to know about all loan types now accepting private flood insurance. Thank you.